Okay, so now we're going to Cricket's. Got to pick up a paper for Kenson's fundraiser. All his stuff is in. Cricket's down a vehicle, and so Grandma gets to come to the rescue and go pick up crap. But you got to have a paper to pick up the crap tomorrow. So now we're on our way to Cricket's crazy house, and you can meet her. Cricket's my oldest. She has a boyfriend named Dakota, and three great kids, well, three kids that are just as adorable as can be and most of the time great. You got Kenson who's now six. He turned six a couple days ago. And Raylan is four and Caden is two, three, four. I think Caden's two. And she's gonna have twins here in like May, probably not May, probably before May. But she's gonna have twins then in May. So she's gonna have a house of five kids and she's already outnumbered. So it's sure to be interesting. But we'll go visit her in a minute and pick up a paper so we can go pick up fundraiser stuff tomorrow. Yay. Maddie decided to stay at home because she had to go run and play with everybody in the neighborhood. So it's just me. We get to go see the grandkids for a couple minutes. Then we gotta go back to Walmart. Then we gotta go to McDonald's to pick up dinner because there's no way I got time to cook by the time I pick up everything. And then I have a class at seven tonight for school. And left Glenn with all the crazy kids. Jordan, who just woke up from his nap, was cranky and fussy and Jordan-like. Weston, who was waking up from a nap and is going to need a bottle. And Maddie, who's always demanding, has to go run around the neighborhood to visit with everybody every single day. So here we are, crickets. Let's go see what they're doing and pick up a paper. You gotta do one step at a time because with a torn ACL, you can't bend your other knee just right to go up and down the steps the right way. It's very pleasant. Let's go see what all these monsters are doing. Knock, knock. Can I come in? Buddy, it's our vlog. I, I got my camera thing to start working, but then it keeps turning off, so I can't figure out how to do my camera. So we're recording on your off and on today. I don't have a bra on either. My house is a mess too because we moved Maddie's room today, and it's just always a mess. Okay, so I take this with me and I put it in the window up there, and then they'll give me what I'm supposed to have, right? Kenson Pocket, is that who you are? I have to pick up your stuff tomorrow. Do I get to take it all home and eat it? Or do I have to bring it here and share it? Bring it here and share it. Oh, okay. But do I get my stuff tomorrow? After your mommy goes You're through it? You're camera control, mom. Yes. <laughs> Grandma's doing a vlog to put on YouTube. Like A for Adley. Yeah, you're gonna be on YouTube like A for Adley. What do you think? Ah, yes. Awesome, Maddie's already been all over today. We just snuffed over a can of pop. Okay, where's the girl? I'm in her room and they chocolate. Uh oh, Ray got in trouble. Yeah, she, she got in trouble. She got in trouble. And Kenneth's voice is Christmas stuff. Not one to play, not one to play. Did you have a good day at school? 
Yes. Yes? So now it's Pepsi and this, sucker time, huh? This is bubblegum. It's a bubblegum sucker? Grandma has to go to Walmart and pick up a few things, and then I have to stop at McDonald's and pick up dinner because I'm, I'm not cooking anything. Them. Did you figure out how to get your car? Um, Alex just messaged me to let me know if Richard can get it tomorrow or Thursday. And then they'll go pick it up? Yes, they're going to Yay, because you really need to get the car. I said you're going to have to buy private level speaking to Walmart. And help It is what it is. It is what it is, so it's got to get done. And you need the other card. So it's kind of a priority to get your other card. Okay, Grandma's going to go because Grandma has a school class at 7 o'clock. I got to do it. Did you know Grandma was in school now too? Huh? I didn't hear you. I thought you did morning classes. No, I did. It depends. I have a cohort tonight. I did one this morning, and then I got one tonight. So, bye, dude. Mm. Your hair looks pretty today, dude. It looks different. Just nice. different. Hi. Bye. Mm. Grandma loves you too. No, not with, not with my cranky butts at home. Maddie was gonna come with me, but instead to go run the neighborhood and go see if Damon was home because Damon told her yesterday he would play with her at five o'clock. Daddy. Might be polite on taking him to freaking wrestling tonight. Oh, yeah. Which is whatever. Dakota wants to make sure he gets all these seals so we can catch up our bows and get wrestling. I know, but he's still like, that's, gotta go to that's wrestling. Cool. I, mean, I guess he can miss one day, but I'd rather him not. Well, that's it. I mean, if I hurry up and get home, Glenn could always come and take him. But I'd ha I have to hurry up and get to Walmart, pick at McDonald's, and get home. If Dakota's. Is it six? There's no way I'm going to make it home by 5.30 so Glenn can make it back. Yeah. You need to make friends with some of the other mommies and see if anybody can help to It'd be nice if Dakota make some daddy Well, yeah, somebody. Or ask your father. Hi, Ray. Bye, Ray. You can take Ray, too. Nope, I got enough on my own. Okay, love you guys. Grandma's going to go, though. Love you. Have fun, and uh, tomorrow after I pick this up, I'll bring it. I'll okay, call you. Because... Like, Why are you I said, if we don't, Grandma's just not taking keep you forever. No, she won't. You would like to be with me forever, wouldn't you? Kansas is like, I don't think so. You won't let me have pop. Um, I'll just message you when I'm on my way tomorrow then, because I got the doctor's appointment, and then I'll have to pick up Weston, and pick up Maddie and Jordan, and pick up this stuff, and... Huh? I might have to have mom will take me to my doctor's appointment the 13th. Oh, so I have a doctor's Today. appointment tomorrow with my surgeon, so. Because the, the one, <laughs> I thought it was early in the morning, but date is like 2.15, and the one for Springfield is at 3, so. I'm going to skip the one in Springfield, because it's just like a regular checkup. The one in Dayton, so it's telling me the flood I need to know. Yeah, you need to go that one, but you can't really skip the other one. You need to reschedule it or something. Okay, but let me know when it is and stuff, and then I'll see what I can do to help. Depend on the other kids. Fine, bye. Pushing me out the door. Bye, dude. <laughs> so that's Cricket. Now we're on our way to Walmart. Yay, go Grandma. And now we gotta go down the steps the other way because you can't bend the knee and put pressure on it just the wrong way because I'll fall on my butt and it will hurt a whole, whole bunch. I tore my ACL like, uh, it was October 25th. Took my three-year-old to school for pictures. Put him up on the stage. Didn't realize there was steps off to the side. I, I go to jump up there, you know, cause I'm a smart one on a Monday after working all night and tired and bounced down on my left knee. Felt a terrible pop, hurt a whole, whole bunch, couldn't hardly walk. Went to the doctor later that week, was like, man, you know, I can't work on this. I can't hardly walk, lots of pain. She checked it out a little bit. She was worried about a blood clot. I'm like, there ain't no blood clot in that leg. But she sent me for an ultrasound so we can make sure there was no blood clot. 
And she was like, well, if you really think you need to see ortho, I can consult them. I was like, well, yeah, I really think I do because it really hurts. <clears throat> so I finally got in to see ortho. I don't know. It was like a week or two later. And they did an x-ray. Everything looked great. So ortho doc thought, oh, have probably a torn meniscus. You know, you manipulated it, moved the knee around. Couldn't really find much. Just so thought maybe it's torn meniscus. So he sent me for an MRI to see what was going on in there since the x-ray didn't show anything. Well, MRI comes back that I have a completely or nearly completely torn ACL. So then I talked to, found, well, then I had to wait a couple more weeks after that and talked to Ortho on the phone because during the whole thing, um, the five month old tested positive for COVID the rest of us in the house did not, but our five month old did somehow. And both boys had a cough and a runny nose. I was terribly sick for a weekend, thought I had pneumonia. Well, my chest x-ray just showed some infiltrate, which you know could be bronchitis, pneumonia, something. Um, but none of the rest of us tested positive for COVID. Only the five month old, which would be really weird because he went in daycare and I've been at home now for like a month because of the knee and so we're guessing it was a false positive. Everybody's fine. But anyway, then I had to do a phone talk with the doctor to find out the MRI results. And when the doctor describes it as weird and abnormal and it's the ACL was wavy and he couldn't tell exactly how bad it was torn, but they do recommend surgery. And so I'm still off work and have to go to the surgeon then tomorrow to find out what they're gonna do with this ACL. The way the ortho doctor talked, they're gonna have to completely do like a reconstructive thing. <clears throat> and, and I do pretty good on walking as long as I'm walking in a straight, even, nice flat surface. You step wrong on the darn thing and you can't move for like two or three minutes because it's unbelievable pain. I can't lay down at night too well because it just aches and hurts all night long. When I'm sitting in a chair, my whole leg aches and hurts all the time. So it's pretty uncomfortable all the time. Walking is doable though, as long as you are careful and get your leg right. But those few moments, if you don't pay attention or you step wrong on that darn thing, and man, it, it's pretty darn painful. So I'm sort of excited to go see the surgeon tomorrow and get this thing taken care of. But at the same time, I'm not very much looking forward to surgery. And they say the recovery to a ACL surgery is pretty extensive and long and lots of therapy and all kinds of crap I'm not looking forward to. So we'll see how that all goes. I'll keep you all posted and you come along with me. That sounds like lots of fun for all of you. <clears throat> so the wonderful town we're in now is called Piqua, Ohio. It's a little tiny town. Well, I wouldn't say little so tiny anymore, but it's a little town. Not much here. Um, mostly an older type town. They are trying to do some nicer things with the downtown area, fix it up. You know, they've put flower pots and more street lights and painted things and tore down some old buildings and all that kind of stuff the last few years. And down here on the one end of town, we have Walmart and dollar stores and restaurants and that kind of stuff. Not too fancy of restaurants. We got like Burger King. Well, Burger King's at the other end actually. But we got McDonald's and Taco Bell and Arby's and that kind of stuff. There's only a couple actual restaurants in the town. We got Cracker Barrel and a Bob Evans and a what, Red Lobster, um, Wings and Rings. Got a few different sit down restaurants, lots more fast food. Um, nothing too exciting. There are a couple, let's see, there's what, one or two Mexican restaurants. I think there's still a Chinese restaurant they ain't tore down yet. And so the town will feed you and get you through. You won't starve. There's plenty of gas stations. 
So there's plenty around here to get you through. It's just nothing too high end or exciting. For anything too exciting or to do anything fun, usually you have to travel at least an hour. You gotta go to Dayton or Cincinnati or Columbus. So we're kind of in the middle of all of them to where it's about an hour, hour and a half to go anywhere that we like to go. We like to go to Kings Island. We like to go to the Columbus Zoo, Cincinnati Zoo. Um, I'll put in there some pictures from last weekend. We went to the Columbus Zoo and got to see the pretty lights and took the kids to Chuck E. Cheese. And that was lots of fun. And luckily I have a huge support system between my husband and my mother and my adult children. So everybody gets to go and they can help with these kids right now, chase them down and do things with them so that I can sit, which you'll learn about me. I don't like to sit. I'm usually busy and going and the leader of the bunch and running around being crazy. And now that I can't do as much because of my knee, it really kind of sucks when I have to sit there and ask everybody else to chase the kids or go do this or go do that. And then my knee swells and hurts so bad by the end of the night, just what I can do. <clears throat> so now we're going to Walmart. Gotta pick up some allergy medicine because me and Miss Maddie have wonderful allergies pretty much all year round. And mama needs some anti baby pills because mommy's already had eight babies and mommy doesn't want any more babies. Babies are great and wonderful and I am very blessed to have had all of my children. However, there comes a point in time where enough's just enough and I think I've got just about enough of those. Not to mention I'm going to have five grandbabies so I think eight of my own. I think I've hit my limit. So no more babies in the cards right now. <clears throat> Don't go to Walmart too much anymore. Everything delivers, which is super nice. Where we live is like 10 minutes away from Pickwoods, out of town and down the road and now they have this Walmart Plus thing. It is super cool. I can order my groceries in, well, the night before, in the morning, or whenever. And they get delivered after a few hours. It's like magic. It's like I message the grocery fairy of what I need from Walmart, and they just show up on my porch. It's like magic. I don't have to do anything. I push a couple buttons, pay for it and everything. Then suddenly I get a message saying, oh, your stuff's here. Usually they're great. They'll knock on the door a little bit or ring the doorbell or something. Let me know I got stuff sitting on the porch. And then I just grab it, which is terrific because with three kids at home, um, I don't like taking them out. You know, we live in a world of COVID and I don't like taking all these kids out running around to stores and all that kind of stuff. I still try to do my part by wearing a mask. Um, Although I've been slacking on that and I don't always wear it when I'm supposed to. I did get vaccinated, but even with the vaccine, you can take it home and you can share the vac share the illness around even though you've had the vaccine. So I try to keep mindful of that because none of my children have had it yet. <clears throat> A three-year-old and baby, of course, not something they can do. The six-year-old, I'm, I'm kind of dragging my feet and waiting to see what's safe and what comes of children getting it before I have her get it. But I think ultimately she'll probably get the vaccine because that's what we prefer. Um, but that's a personal choice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into Walmart and we're gonna get Sloppy Joe's cause that's what Glenn's making tomorrow. Some tater tots and gotta pick up medicine. And probably about anything else I see that I wanna buy along the way and you know, between getting into Walmart and out of Walmart. 
So talk to you later, YouTube.